Welcome to Art of Illusion Animation. In this very tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an animation using Art of Illusion. And this is the previous one I created earlier. So I will, I maybe I should minimize that and let's go straight into Art of Illusion. Okay, we're now in Art of Illusion. So I will now go to Tools select text in there I'll just type in fish make sure the object type is uh, surface and um, you can if you want you can always change your font to whatever you want but I think I'm alright with what I've selected I just click on bold click on OK now I've got my text right there the next thing I'll do is uh, I will now go to tools make sure if it's not selected just select it that's the selection tool right there I will go back to tools select extrude once you click on extrude depend on the size or the amount of uh, the distance so if I enter 2 there um, look that's the distance for 2 you can tell that's sort of like too long so let's change it to 1 okay look that's one so that's fine right there I'm okay with the distance of the Z axis so I just click on OK there so if you want to have a look you can come in here the movement tool click on it and you see that's my that's my fish right there okay that's fine so I just leave that there make sure you are in the front view as the front view there so the next thing I will do is select use my selection arrow double click on the text once you double click on the text it brings you straight to the editing mode so once you are in the editing mode I will now animate just change the shape I'm going to change the shape to just to simulate the appearance of a fish I can use here the, as the front or maybe just use it as the back but let me just use the as the front and here I'm going to use here the back side the F let me use the uh, F as the tail of the fish okay that's the tail of the fish right there the next thing is maybe just make the tail look a little bit busy Okay, let's add more to that. It can look a bit busy so that it looks like the tail of a fish. Now we need some fin right there, I believe it's called fin. Just put that there. Yeah. Yep, that's good. Yep. Looks like uh, what some people might class as a swordfish. Okay. We have more there. Yes. So that's that, guys. I think that that will do for now. Now I have my fish in place. If I if I decide to get out of the edit mode, let's go back into the main program. Program just click on OK, and that's what you get. You see that? So let's use the movement tool. Can you guys see that? So see, it looks like a fish okay so what I will do next is let's try to animate this okay if you don't if you can find your animation uh, animation uh, tool is right there go into animation and make sure you select show score that's it right there okay but the secret is your show score is right underneath here I really wish you guys can see it let me see if I can sort of like move that a little bit but it's right underneath here all you need to do is drag it up so I'm gonna drag my up now there there it is and you see it is there can you see here okay I'll now just click there can you see it gonna click and you see that's the score right there okay we have the score in place that's the score now you guys know where the score is so the next thing is 
let me move this fish maybe move it a little bit down that is the text if you want you can always right click and hide the text or you can just delete it let's clear it I don't need the text anymore now that I have my the model in place so now select this uh, rotation tool that's the rotation tool right there okay once that is selected okay right here are your keyframes if I click on rotate I've actually rotate the my fish go to animate or animation select keyframe modified track of selected object click on OK what you will notice is two small dots right here let's drop it down look at the two small dots because I've rotated the position and the rotation that's why I have those two small dots okay the next thing I'm going to do is move it move the play arrow I'll just click somewhere here okay now move the arrow can you see that I've moved it nudge it forward a little bit now go back to animation keyframe and you see the position because the position has changed you get the keyframe here between 0 and 0 0.83 the program has actually calculated whatever happens now the next thing is I'm going to rotate it as rotate and if I decide to go to keyframe or hold down control shift press K that is it you can see another dot appears there now I'm just going to select anywhere here to move the playhead the green line move this forward and just press animation tool and select modifier you see what happened okay let's rotate it a little bit more look at that you can always press control shift and letter K look at it it's right there that's the shortcut control shift letter K okay because I've been using most uh, using the control the shortcut keys most of my most of the time it's easier to use the shortcut key the next thing is another keyframe here move it forward control key letter K there look at that maybe one more rotate move control and that so what I'll do now is rewind play my program can you guys see that you see that's how you create animation so what I'll do next is to just to finish up this program I will now go into my go into thing select text and material once the set of text and material is selected I'll go into the library and I want the water uh, I prefer the water because uh, it will make the fish actually look like it's in the water or it's in the, in the sea or wherever okay now that is selected I click on OK remember the name the name is water just close that now with the selection to select the fish make sure the fish is selected if you want you can always rewind it and just select the fish you can see the dot around it which means the fish is selected go to the property right here the property of the fish and then you go to material the texture that's the texture there drop this down and select water you see that that has changed now you can always try your program again that's fine so let's rewind back maybe I should move this down a little bit okay now I have that in place so the next thing I'm going to do is just to now go into same render okay set the size I'm gonna set my screen size to approximately 1000 by let's make that 800 1000 by 800 now to render 
make sure you select movie if you don't select movie it's not going to work you only just get a picture now this alias i will drop this down the anti alias select maximum and right here make sure you select the soft shadow click on ok once you click on ok you just have to wait for the system to render click on ok you see it quick time is much better so i'm going to select quick time let's click on ok and it's asking you to save it i'll just call it fish we select a folder for it i think i have a folder right here and just yep just say fish fish one okay that's fine because i already have a fish there so just click on ok and that's it the program is now rendering rendering itself so as soon as it finished rendering i will get back to you guys all right as you can see to render 30 frames it's taking me approximately two minutes and 47 seconds now rendering rendering is completed so what i would do next is uh, i'm going to close this because i don't need this anymore since my rendering is completed just close that that's it but you can always preview it which is right here if you preview you can preview to see what 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 you've done that's the that's the animation but let's go let's go for the one we've just finished rendered so where is it fish one that's it right there double click on it and that is it that is the animated uh, fish that you guys saw earlier and that is how you create an animation in art of illusion uh, suppose you guys uh, enjoy this brief tutorial I'm just gonna call it a day right now so you all have a nice one bye for now